What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and this is Zombie Nightmare. Ooh. This is like my 12th take. Seriously. Like, I keep doing takes of this game, and I lose my mind halfway through it, and I just go on a tirade about the state of gaming, especially VR gaming. There's an opening cinematic for this game, Zombie Nightmare. This is the opening cinematic, you're watching it now. Zombies coming out of the ground, zombies in the background, zombies eating other zombies. Um, and then this guy, like, knocks us backwards. Now, I want to give the devs some credit here. Not many, these cheap, like, one-off games, like, almost never have, like, opening cinematics. So I was like, well, maybe this is going to be good. But then you click start, there's no option menu whatsoever. None. Like, none. There's just, that's it, day one, and we start. If you hit escape, it does nothing. If you hit tab, it does nothing. Like, enter, nothing. There's, you cannot quit out of this game without, like, alt-tabbing out and closing it off the taskbar menu. Seriously, you bothered to do an opening intro, like, cinematic, and you couldn't even do an escape? Like, hit escape, menu, quit game? They must have just known that the only way anybody was going to play this game is if they were literally stuck playing it. And they're like, oh, I can't quit. I guess I'll play for, you know, a few minutes. <sighs> Alright. So here, here's the thing. I, I want to walk you guys through a quick scenario. I invite you out to lunch. No, better yet, I invite you over for lunch. Well, first off, you say no because you don't know me at all. And if you're a smart person, then you're going to say no because obviously that's how every horror movie starts ever. But that aside, let's just say you're insane and you say yes. And you come over and I say, hey, welcome. I've made you lunch. It's crap. And you're like, oh, you're being too hard on yourself. I'm sure it's okay. And I'm like, no, no, it's literally crap. It's actual fecal matter. And you're like, okay, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not eating that. I don't, I don't eat poop. And I say, oh man, that's too bad. All right, well, what if I put it on a sesame seed bun and add lettuce, tomato, pickles, cheese, mayo? Uh, you know, will you eat it then? And you're gonna look at me if you haven't already run from the house screaming, and you're gonna say, no, I don't care how you serve it to me, I won't eat crap. Like, what is, what is so hard to understand here? That is VR gaming, my friends. That is VR gaming, like, in a nutshell. And that is how I feel about VR gaming. Now, I've done a couple of reviews of VR games that tout the ability to play them sans VR. Like this game here. You can play it with VR, or you can play it without VR. Um, if you play it without VR, then it's like this. You just use the laser reticle uh, to aim and do, you know, to kill zombies that come out of the ground endlessly. Just, just endlessly. Um, oh gosh. So, yes, I'm playing this without VR. The game has VR support, and it's it's primarily a VR game. And I've done reviews for other games that have VR support, but they say it's playable without VR with just mouse and keyboard. And I've reviewed them, and they've been bad. And people are like, oh, but you didn't play with VR. Why are you reviewing this, this VR game, like non-VR? Because a crap game is a crap game, whether it's in 3D, virtual reality, 2D, no D, like, it's still a crap game is a crap game, guys. This is a crap game. I can't even see what I'm doing. My guy screams like Turok every time he gets hit. From, like, the first Turok game. A bad game's a bad game, whether it's in virtual reality or not. I don't need to sit here and say, well, maybe in VR... Because unless I plug in VR headset and all of a sudden I have control of the character, I can switch weapons, I can actually exit the game properly, um, you know, there's, a, there's, there's graphical options, there's more to the game than zombies just popping. Unless all of this changes as soon as I plug in VR headset, then it's a bad game with or without VR. Like, you don't... That argument just blows me away. Well, you didn't, you didn't play in VR. Crap is crap. Whether it's on a sesame seed bun or not, it's still crap. can't turn the light on and off on the, the rifle. You cannot switch weapons. You can't even move the character's perspective while you're on this on-rail section. The entire game consists of zombies coming out of the ground, coming towards you, flailing their arms wildly, with half of them wearing basketball jerseys. Don't believe me? This is the only entertaining part of the game. The 
terrible physics. And before you say, oh yeah, I'm sure that was planned in. No, it wasn't. I'm sure the devs would like to say like, oh yeah, yeah, we play, we, we put in this hilarious uh, physics, broken physics. No, you didn't. I don't believe that for a second. If they charged 99 cents for this game, it would cost a dollar too much. And it's like $10. Why? What is the point? I don't understand. It boggles my mind. It does. It absolutely just blows my mind that these kinds of games get released. It's just, oh. And look at the blood. Like, the blood just looks terrible. The neon blood. I just... It seems like if you get hit, then you switch automatically to a shotgun. I guess their thoughts are the zombies have gotten close to you, so maybe you need the help of a close-range weapon. I guess. I don't know. And right about here, the waves start to become so oppressive that I just start dying regularly. And then my ability to care just drops completely off the charts. And I just cannot be bothered to continue like a moment longer. So, if this video prevents even one person from buying this game, then my misery was, I suppose, worth it. Ah, this scream is just... Your character does not scream, by the way, because he's being eaten by the undead. He's screaming because he realizes that he's going to have to replay a portion of this game. That's why he's screaming. This is like Groundhog's Day from Hell. In that, when you die, you come back. And it just would be so much better just to stay dead. So when you do die, the game is actually smart enough to know that nobody is going to want to replay these sections at all. Um, and so it actually lets you start uh, from where you left off. It like warps you to that part of the level. And another minigun section. And that's it. I mean, this is the game, guys. Like. This is it, and it's all of its glory. All of its gory glory. Like, what's, who's the demographic for this? Look at that, look at that. This is about the part where I start losing my mind just because I'm having to replay portions of this and I just, I cannot understand or fathom Oh, what happened to gaming? What happened to gaming? What happened to Steam? I know there's always been bad games. I'm not that naive and that stupid to think that there's never been bad games. I know that. But when these are the majority of what's coming out, it just it breaks my heart. So what are you guys doing for Halloween? You guys going out? Going to a party? Yeah? Please. Anything to take my mind off of this. Anything. Let me try this one more time. One more time. I don't even know why. I don't even know why I'm trying this one more time. I don't know what the point or the purpose is in trying it one more time. At all. Didn't turn around fast enough. Now I'm dead. And I'm done. Well, this was fun. I really, really enjoyed this, guys. And by that, I mean, somebody please save me. Please. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you guys stopping by. Please don't buy this game. If you're interested in buying this game and you want to buy it, I'm sure that you can look up in the phone book or online the number for medical assistance because you might need it. Um, if this game was $0.99, cents, please don't buy it. And if it goes on like deep, deep sale for like 25 cents, please don't buy it because this is what's wrong with VR gaming. I'm reviewing another VR title, yippee, and uh, you guys can check that one out too. And it's also bad. And I thought, you know, between the two, and I actually was trying to pick one that looked like it might be decent, but no, 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 they're both really, really bad. Um, so yeah, please, please don't support bad VR games. Please don't. I mean, VR has so much promise and so many things that it can bring to the table that it can offer to enhance games and make them better. And I mean, I still think it's, I honestly still believe it's sort of in its gimmick stage still. Um, I don't think there's enough good devs developing for it. Um, that was like a double 
developers developing for it. Well, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, let's let's hold off until until they get better and not support bad games like this. So thanks all for stopping by. I appreciate that very much. I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of Electric Productions and finding a different game. Game on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>